Your natural hair is a lifestyle and it's a part of a journey, a spiritual journey and a physical journey. They call me Miss D504. As a young black woman in society with natural hair, it's not easy to maintain, but I want to show the world how liberating it is. The advantages of being a natural black woman is embracing your culture, showing and spreading your love. I learned how to take care and how to love myself, as well as how to advise others to do the same. Nobody knows you better than you. I love hair. I love taking care of myself. I love seeing other people take care of themselves. So why not broadcast that? But what's up, you guys? Welcome back to your girl, Miss D504 channel. This is my esthetician journey. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. So this is weekend two of us being virtual and online for esthetician school at Christine Zalmi. So um, today I know that we're just going to do a review and tomorrow is the 200 question final. So the difference between this week and last week is that um, we're going to be seeing each other. She just informed us probably like 20 minutes ago in a text message saying that we're going to be seeing each other on video and we're going to be able to interact with the intercom today or with the microphone today so um that should be interesting so i had to take my hair down i couldn't leave it in a scarf unfortunately but it is what it is i needed to kind of do some type of routine of getting ready because i feel like i feel like the last past week and a half i've just been taking a shower and throwing on any type of clothes and just sitting around the house so it's a good routine of actually doing my hair and making myself look presentable i guess but um yeah i asked my teacher if we could do if she could show us still how to make soap virtually because since we are not physically there we didn't get the opportunity to make it ourselves so i'm like maybe at least if she shows us because i really 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 wanted to know how to make soap because I thought that would be interesting, like something nice to give to your clients once they leave, like a goodie bag or like even something that you can sell within a salon yourself because you make it and it wouldn't be such a high cost rate. But um, I will see you guys during a break, maybe if I pick up the camera, depending on how my actual home situation is going because I'm at home, my fiance may be doing something. But um, yeah, I definitely will close you guys out today and let you know what happened throughout class. So I will see you in a little bit. I'm about to eat my cereal. I don't care if we're on a video chat or not. She gonna see me eating my cereal. So um, I will see you guys in a little bit, okay? Peace. Okay guys, so we pretty much wrapped up today's um, course, I guess if you wanna call it. It was very helpful in terms of studying. She went over the test with us and she made sure she was very thorough with the answers. So now I, I know I'm going to go back and just look over the test questions that she originally gave us for our test prep and the ones that she already spoke about us with are going to stand out to me, if that makes sense. So um, I'm feeling confident. Our test is tomorrow at 10 a.m. So um, I'm definitely excited about that. I'm going to wake up, make like a heavy breakfast because I'm going to be sitting at my laptop for three hours. So I'm preparing myself for that. And you guys, I'm done with theory that fast. So she did give us the curriculum and pretty much of what we're going to be doing in practical I'm sorry, not practical and clinical. And uh, when I tell you guys, I am super duper, 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 duper excited. Like it's going to be 12 times better than what it was like going in person because um, I don't know if I, if you guys have watched my previous vlogs, which I always encourage you guys to watch my vlogs. So definitely go back and watch my vlogs of me talking about my esthetician journey and me going over everything with you guys. Um, at Christine Valmy because when I did do my makeup hours I went in on a Friday one day um, and it was I did clinic and um, I did facials literally the whole entire day and I did talk about previously before of how I feel like the school does need a balance it doesn't need to be one consistent thing like 
for a whole set of like 15 weeks because that gets tiresome it gets boring it's very repetitive i guess like i understand that they want to have everything engraved within you but i feel like the only thing that should be like that is maybe actually none of them none of them should be like that because i even told you guys i feel like practical um and theory should be combined together one day of practical and one day of theory that way you can kind of see exactly what you're learning and be hands-on with it and it'll help with your learning because some people don't always learn by reading and looking at pages they have to be hands-on so nevertheless they have decided to um combine that aspect within clinic so they're going to be giving us, since everything is virtual at this point, they're going to be giving us projects that we have to do and where we have to implement different, um, I'm not going to get into details with it yet, but they're going to be giving us different projects as well as we're going to have to record ourselves doing facials. So I'm very, very, very excited about that because I feel like once I'm in my own element, I have like my own bed set up. I have my the products from the kit. I'm ordering more tools and your girl is ready. I'm just right now, I'm in the transitioning phase of trying to figure out how I can set up an appropriate business plan for when I graduate. And I mean, obviously after I have my baby, but for once when I graduate and um, get my license, because I originally... I, I want to be working with my mentor and helping her out and her giving me more experience, but let me catch my breath, but I do want to um, build my own brand and be able to go out and do like at home visits to pay, to clients and, you know, just continue to do my facials, whether it's and do wax thing, but I feel like the environment that we're in now and what it's actually coming to be it may have to be revamped and I think I might actually reach out to my teacher and ask her for some advice just to see exactly like if she can pinpoint me to be in a different direction so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, and I'll keep you guys posted on that as well. Um, right now, we're taking our last break before class ends. And I'm pretty sure she's just going to come back and revamp and talk about everything. About the test that's tomorrow. About what time we have to log on and check in. And yeah, you guys. So pray for me. Pray I do well. The next time you see me, I will be getting ready to log on to take my final. I know I'm going to do well because it's pretty much going to be engraved in my system before tonight is over with. I mean, I feel like it's already engraved in there now, but even more so, even more so. Because your girl, is, your girl got this. Your girl got this. We've been in practice and been in theory for 15 weeks. So, you know what? I'm, I'm good. Is it 15 weeks or is it 13 weeks? Whatever it is, I got this. Your girl is good. I'm excited. I'm getting ready to pass this final with flying colors and get ready to have my butt in clinic so i will see you guys later thank you guys once again for watching and tuning into my esthetician school journey no more of me walking the new york streets but now i'm sitting <laughs> i'm sitting on my sofa doing esthetician school online you guys god is funny and god is good let me just say that like <laughs> You have to laugh at that. Esthetician is so hands-on, but I'm doing it virtually. Okay, so nevertheless, I'll talk to you guys later before I start going on a rant. And um, love you guys. Peace. Okay, you guys, before I forget to pick up the camera and actually talk to you guys, let me hurry up. So we're having technical difficulties. Some people are having trouble getting into the webinar. Our final does not start until 10 a.m. It is currently 9 o'clock. So she's trying to open up a new meeting so that everyone can just re-sign into that one. So yeah, it's kind of slow this morning, but today is final day, you guys. Today is the last day of theory. I mean, even though I'm not physically there, I'm there virtually. So today's the last day of theory. I'm so hype about it. And yes, I'm in my robe. Yes, I look busted and crusted because I'm in my house, but I still want to show you guys my experience. So take me as I am. So anyways, um, 
We get three hours to take this final. It's 200 questions. Your girl is very prepared. I studied and reviewed a little bit last night, probably for like 30 minutes. I didn't want to overdo it. I made sure I was in bed by 10 o'clock and I just knocked out. I really did. I was going to wake up a little bit earlier to study like a little bit more. And I did do like a little bit of a review, but your girl did not go in because I was like, I know the material is pretty much engraved by this point. So um, anything more, anything less is overdoing it. And I don't want to give my brain too much work so for material especially that i already know so <clears throat> three hours 200 questions we start at 10 so we'll end at one and i'm sure for the rest of the day she'll figure out something for us to do like interactive wise and that's pretty much it you guys your girl is done with theory and getting ready to go to clinical Clinic starts next Saturday, and when I tell you I'm so ready, let these 14 weeks go by so fast. Um, but yeah, you guys, I will talk to you once I finish my final, let you guys know what I got. 75 to pass. I know I'm going to get 75% or more, but um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Okay, guys, I just finished taking this test. Oh, 200 questions seems so long. <sighs> okay. I passed. Woohoo! I got an 88 out of 100. I missed 23 questions out of 200, which I think is not that bad, but I definitely need to figure out which ones that I um that I got wrong. Well, I can see the ones that I got wrong. I need to see the ones that were um the ones that are wrong, the correct answers for it, so I can study in the future when it comes to my actual test, like the final. I did, I would say that there were questions on here that I had never seen before, so I definitely had to take like a good amount of educated guesses. So um, those were the main ones that I got wrong, the ones that we reviewed and that I could have reviewed a little bit more or ones that I got wrong too. So um, I think all in all, I did pretty well. I'm still look, just looking over the answers that I got. Once again, I got a 88 out of, well, the percentage is 88. I got 177 out of 200. So um, yeah, um, I'll come back to you guys once our class is ending. We meet back up in about two hours and I'll see how it goes okay guys peace okay you guys i am officially closing off this video for my last day in theory ah, i'm so excited i'm so excited so it's official next week i start clinic and they've already sent us like an outline of what the course is going to be being that it's virtual so we have um a homework assignment that's going to be due on the 12th which is um creating our own basically our own salon or spa um menu of type of treatments that we will give and how it will be different from any other spa and we also need to list the ingredients of the treatments and yeah, I don't think that should be challenging because that's something that I was already personally thinking about myself, being that I know I wanted to branch out and do something on my own. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to get, I guess, like feedback in terms of what I was already thinking. And um, so our teacher, she closed out pretty much today by um, giving us our personal phone calls. I wish I really wish we were in person because it would have made such like a better not like a going away experience but a closing chapter of theory like properly but anyways she called us individually and we all had like our personal I guess like comments and conversations with her she's just she was talking she actually talked to me about um my youtube channel guys because she was like oh I happened to stumble to stumble across um your platform on youtube I was looking at stuff about Christine found me and I was like oh wait she looks familiar and you're like oh I know her but she's so sweet you guys I love my teacher Miss Brenda she's always forever gonna be my teacher i wish she could be the teacher for clinic like but um nevertheless i'm excited to start clinic and hurry up and get this chapter done with school and finalizing it and just moving forward 
to more stepping stones in my esthetician career and i'm excited to take you guys with me as i'm slowly building up my um esthetician platform my esthetician career my esthetician brand all of that good stuff so um yeah i will see you guys next week and um i'll definitely include you guys within my um hmm maybe i'll wait i was gonna say maybe i'll include you guys within doing my homework assignment but i'll wait because that actually may be treatments that i may keep on my like my menu for when i do actually start and get my license we'll see how it goes we'll see how i'm feeling but um i'll keep you guys posted leave a comment below make sure you comment 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 like this video and um subscribe so i will see you guys next week okay peace